looks like Brendan has deleted all of the Green Room Diaries and Jokes on Me videos from his YouTube channel, along with most of the crowd work videos. Bits and pieces remain on his TikTok and Facebook. I download them now before his historical comedy bits are lost forever. You know what's really interesting about this? Do you remember that one stream where I gathered up all the old clips of him doing Green Room Diaries? And I said, if you put them together, they could actually make a funnier special than Gringo Pappy, or you'd be surprised. I stand by that, by the way. I know these jokes weren't great, and they're not funny but i think these green room diary materials that he did or these bits this little thing that he did where oh i'm gonna go to a comedy club and write a joke in the green room and then perform it on stage and then record it and put it out there as like an alternative to crowd work these bits were actually better than anything he put in gringo pappy anything he had in the fucking you'd be surprised so i'm really confused why he didn't include them but i guess because he already said them on social he couldn't but the premise, the way he, you know, structured the joke, it actually felt like he was trying to be funny. Again, it wasn't funny, but at least he was trying on these particular jokes. Let's play this one. I don't know the last time you guys went to SeaWorld, but I was recently there with my son. He's balls deep in the fish right now. I love that voice he has on stage. <laughs> What's that voice? What's that voice all about? I don't know. What's that voice? I don't know the last time you guys went to SeaWorld, but I was recently there with my son. He's balls deep in the fish right now. <laughs> He's on this weird fish hook. So I'm like, let's go to fucking SeaWorld, dude. So I get to the front. You know, my son, we haven't been, it's been pandemic lockdown, so we haven't done a lot of stuff. So I want to, like, flex on the little dude, right? Papa works hard. I'm going to fucking flex on this little dude. <laughs> so I get to the front. I go, what's up? Good to see you. I'll, uh, I'll take two VIP tickets to SeaWorld. She goes, cool, $19. I'm like, <laughs> No, 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 I mean like I don't want to wait in line. Like I want that like special treatment. You know what I'm saying? I was just at Disneyland. She goes, I heard you, 19 bucks. Like, it's a good deal. <laughs> I, we, me and my son walk in the park. There is nobody there anymore. There's nobody there. My son's all, Papa, where is everybody? Like, I don't fucking know, dude. Let me figure it out. I find one of the workers at Sea where I'm like, what's up, dude? Good to see you. What the fuck is it? What the fuck is that outfit, man? I have sympathy for Brendan because maybe deep down inside of me, I also have this idea that I'm twink shaped or twink sized, but I'm not. And maybe that's what Brendan has. Maybe in Brendan's head, he thinks he's twink sized. He thinks he has a 28 to 32 waist, right? He thinks his neck is like 13 inches or something, right? He thinks he can wear like a medium and a small t-shirt. So with that kind of particular body size and frame, you can wear certain things. But when you're a six foot three dude, 250 pounds, you can't wear this. You just can't, it doesn't look good. Skinny jeans rolled up, no socks with Vans, this like elongated shirt thing with like a shirt under, like what the fuck is that? Like what is that outfit that he's got on, honestly? That's like a boohoo man, like fucking best of, isn't it? It's it's a you know what it is. It's actually a very Newcastle fit. It's a very Liverpool fit. It's a very Manchester. It's a very Manny fit. It's a very Northern fit. That's probably his English side coming out of him here. He wouldn't look out of place on the strip somewhere here in London. What the fuck is that outfit? Legitimately, he looks like a long lost member of like f f you remember that group was it five or was it steps i think it was five remember that boy band was it five is that what they were called yeah he looks like he was a long lost member of this fucking boy band called five back in the day do you remember fucking five that's what he fucking looks like he looks like he'd be in one of these fucking groups right He's the big brute one though, right? There's always one that's like, there's one that's like kind of gay, but not one that's edgy, one that's dark and mysterious, one that's like a, one that's like a wigger, one that's like racially ambiguous. That's what Brenda will be. Brenda will be the racially ambiguous one in the group. You know, is he Indian? Is he mixed race? Is he just light skinned? Is he albino? We don't know. Everybody, man, he goes, 
Come on, bro. <laughs> Blackfish? <laughs> I was like, what? The documentary on Netflix? They fucked us. <laughs> it's not good, man. To be honest, though, I'm glad that fucking whale's gone, man. <laughs> if he was a real asshole. <laughs> Do you think he's using canned laughter in this? Is this canned laughter? Or is he just like... Or do you think people are actually laughing at this shit? Do you think you could do, like, podcast jokes on stage and people would laugh at it? Oh, yeah, so I was just on... I was on Instagram and... Have you guys seen that video? It's like, can you do that stuff and people would laugh? It's like that meme with, like, the Spider-Man pointing at each other. Do people laugh at that sort of stuff on stage? They laugh at you saying what you saw on social media with words on stage hey guys close your eyes cool you know when you log into instagram and you have a feed right yeah okay cool you know that instagram account where like there's those guys that make food um but they make you look like everyday objects right yeah and like they cut it and you're wondering oh my god oh my god is it gonna be a cake or is it actually gonna be an inanimate object <laughs> like do people laugh at that sort of stuff is that like a thing can you actually make money and become famous by just repeating things that you see on social media and just describing it? <laughs> what the fuck? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Whispering into a microphone at fucking 3am in the fucking morning when I should be on stage describing some shit I saw on black Twitter. Oh yeah, guys, have you seen that thing about that black teacher in America who like was getting his hair unbraided by those um, elementary school girls? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to be him. Like, is that what people should be doing? What? <laughs> he goes, dude, he's so weird. He goes, he keeps looking over his shoulder. He goes, listen, you know me, bro. Never met the guy. He goes, you know me, bro. <laughs> I think all fish matter. But I don't want that fucking whale. <laughs> Big up Josie. Yes, Rogan does this all the time. That's actually a good point. Rogan just takes some of his like talking points on the podcast and then just like screams them. Oh my god, man. Hey man, what about weed? Oh my god, I was so high this one time. Right? I saw the northern lights. <laughs> but it was actually wasn't. It was just my daughter flying her drone. In my massive mansion. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Ten years of comedy and he still knows breathes into the <laughs> mic. This guy has stage presence. We got a mountain lion problem, you all. <laughs> we got a mountain problem oh my god man i still can't believe he did that man honestly i can't believe he put that shirt that thing out man oh big of a side i appreciate you brother oh fucking hell my chest i'm dating my daughter you feel me like <laughs> he is the, the killer whale shouldn't be in here so he somehow is wearing an elongated short sleeve shirt i don't even know where do you get that shirt where does one buy a short sleeve or no a quarter sleeved elongated shirt but then how do you also find a shirt underneath that's nearly the same length as it because i get why you'd want to wear like an oversized shirt to kind of make it fit like a coat like an overshirt kind of thing but this is like a a quarter sleeve and it's also as long as this thing that's on the inside <laughs> Anyways, man, he goes, look into it. All right, dude, I looked into it. He ain't lying. Killer whales suck, man. Dude, they're fucking savages. You ever look killer whales up? They're the Ted Bundys of the ocean. <laughs> they kill everything. SeaWorld's a bummer, man. There's not a lot. Wouldn't that be bad to say that they're the Zodiac killer of the, of the ocean? Because didn't the Zodiac killer kill everyone? What what's a Ted Bundy? It wasn't Ted Bundy mostly like a sexual. Anyway, I don't I don't know. Whatever. Let's not get into the specifics because this is all regarded. A lot going on there. 
It's like a it's like a flea market and a petting zoo had a baby. It's just Look at that vo- what's that voice by the way? What is that voice? Is that he's like he's got an interesting voice, isn't it? And the baby what is that like almost zesty what is that voice? Yeah, it's a baby. Not a lot going on there. It's like a it's like a flea market and a petting zoo had a baby. Had a baby. <laughs> what the fuck is that? So he doesn't want to he doesn't want to put a cock in between his lips, but he wants to talk like somebody that would to elicit some fun. Like he's he's really got like adolescent like sense of humor in it. To him being gay is funny. Like in a bad way, kind of, you know, like oh yeah, being homosexual is actually a joke. Ha <laughs> ha Imagine. Like Huh? It's like a it's like a flea market and a petting zoo had a baby. It's just <laughs> I eat fish and chips there. I'm like this is doesn't make sense. I mean, isn't that weird? Dumb makes sense. I love that dumb makes sense. Dumb makes sense. It makes sense. I love how the subtitles say this doesn't make sense, but he says dumb makes sense. The subtitles don't reflect what he actually said. You know? Dumb makes sense. This don't make sense. I don't like this is don't make sense. Dumb don't makes like sense. This is, don't make sense. I, isn't that weird? <laughs> At fish and chips, dude? This is insane, man. <laughs> and then as we're walking out, I'm, I'm like, where the fuck is my son? And my son Tiger. He comes he's holding a fucking live stingray. It's all wet and juicy. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? He's all, Papa says it comes with a VIP pass. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's still terrible, but isn't that a better joke than anything that's in the fucking Gringo Pappy? Isn't that a better joke than fucking, you know, Mexican fucking cookies? Isn't that a better joke than, we fit, we fit. Mijo, mijo, we fit. Isn't that a better joke than, um, I don't know, crop out the uglies? No? I think it's a better joke than all that shit. It's actually pretty good. I'm surprised you didn't include it in the special, honestly. <laughs> Big episode. I didn't watch it, I was busy <laughs> relapsing. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Anyway, we've got one more. One more. One more for the group. This is a way for us to sign off and to RIP the fucking Green Room Diary saga, right? We have to watch one more. This is from his TikTok. One more. And I promise I won't hurt you again with it. One more. This one is this one that the caption says Green Room Diaries wrote this an hour before I went on stage. Sorry to the Rudy fans or Ruddy fans. Joe Montana is not a fan. Trash Panda tour this Thursday. Saturday tickets. Thickboy.com. Hashtag comedy. Hashtag FYP. Hashtag stand up. Let's go. Notre Dame fans. I get it. I get it. America's team. Alumni out of Notre Dame. Jesus Christ. Jerome Bettis. Rocket Ishmael, fucking who? Mike Golick, Tim Brown. Oh my God! But none bigger, none bigger. I thought he said none nigger, but that nigger. I thought he said, but that nigger, that nigger. None bigger, none bigger than Daniel Rudiger, oh. A.K. Rudy. Oh. I'm gonna break your heart right now, Fort Wayne. Joe Montana can't stand Daniel Rudiger. <laughs> call him a piece of <laughs> Any chance he gets, any fun, you put a mic in front of Joe Montana's face, he's <laughs> all over the movie Rudy. <laughs> he's like, that movie's bull <laughs> That kid barely worked. He was off sides. <laughs> <laughs> We're up by 21 points. Got a sack against the third string. Who gives a <laughs> <laughs> The reason they carried him off the field was to make fun of him. <laughs> Joe Montana played 15 years in the end. NFL, multiple time regular season MVP, multiple time Super Bowl MVP, one of the top five ever touch of pink skin. This guy has nothing. <laughs> Not, there's no feature film on him. <laughs> and then this four string five seven white kid gets a sack, and Hollywood's like, that's our guy. <laughs> 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 gonna remake Rudy. 
you hear about this? With a transgender girl. It's gonna break all of Joe Montana's records. It's all rude. Now, I'm not saying it's funny, but isn't that still better than the Gringo Pappy? I'm not saying it's amazing, but isn't that better than you'd be surprised? <laughs> I didn't laugh once, but it's better than Bert. <laughs> I love this. I love this new. Um, I love this new. Um, um, what do you call it? This new gauge of whether or not someone's funny or not. Did you do better than Bert and Tom on the Tom Brady roast? <laughs> Are you funnier than Bert? Yes or no? That's the level. That's what we. That's what we rate it on now. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, um. That's it. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's it. Let's go. We're not going to click anything else because these girls, I'm not even logged. I don't even have a login for this shit. And I've already got fucking underage girls on my fucking thing. Like TikTok is just, no wonder they want to ban it in it. Like what the fuck is this? Who are these people? Why have, why have I got, why have I got, why have I been recommended these two videos? <laughs> What's going on? I don't even use this shit. And all I have is children all over here. Just children fucking hell um what's this what's the comment saying that's cool brian lets you borrow his jeans <laughs> hey schlob that's a lovely nightgown also did you say aka ak rudy <laughs> little known fact the anger comes from montana being cut off the okay cool. um, you can tell it was written last second <laughs> i'd argue to say that dan quinn is the greatest notre dame football player when will it stop <laughs> <laughs> Danny the Pumpkin 101. You'll be happy. It has stopped, my friend. It has stopped. This was good. Best bit ever. It's funny because it's true. Non is it called a nonce or noise? Not or noise. I thought you called him a nonce. Nonce is a, a UK word for pedos. Um at least Brian succeeded with the Leah. How are the there are no comments here? Thanks for the jokes. This is great. This is actually a great documentary series on, on Montana on Peacock. He got sketchers. Very funny. Was this supposed to be a joke? <laughs> story time at the comedy store at the comedy club, huh? <laughs> story time. <laughs> this, this is the story time. His best oh you see, this is what I think everyone else is saying. This guy, Chase Maori, his best material is still a two. That's the main problem with Brendan, isn't it? His best material is still a two. Damn. Um, Joe Montana's not top five. This guy's like the Rudy of comedy. He's just talking. Uh, <laughs> Rudy wasn't 5'7". Haters gonna come at my boy. Growing up to die hard. Uh, um, got the whole squad laughing. Good set. Failed fighter. Failed fighter turned failed comic. Bloody hell. Anyway, you get the gist. People didn't like it. People did not like it. 